Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can stream a pre-recorded video to Facebook. Like so. What you want to do is first open OBS, like so. We will be using OBS to stream your pre-recorded live video. If you don't have OBS, just download it from the link in the description for Mac or Windows or Linux. Now what you want to do is you want to add two sources. Like that. You want to add one that's that says pre-recorded video like so pre-recorded video and then you want to add another one which that will be for like your preview your preview before you go live with the video like so Right there, your preview. And then what you want to do is click, click on your preview, preview or pre-recorded video. Which I'm gonna click on preview, pre-recorded video like so. You want to right-click in the source monitor right here. Click that. Click right-click and click add. And then what you want to do is click media source and find a pre-recorded video you want to use, like so. Now I'm going to click browse, like so, you want to click browse, and then what you want to do is find the video you want to use. Now I'm going to use this one, like so. Then click OK, but you will want to look at some settings right here. Don't click loop, because you do not want it to loop. If you're having a, a video, you do not want loop. Now what you want to do is click res is have this restart playback when source begins active. Make sure that's checked. The rest of this you can just leave as as is. Click OK, and then you see you see right here your video is too big. Don't worry, the video it will play, but it will not be live yet. You want to click this here right there. Click on that, and then you can resize it. You want to resize it to where it gets full like so. Now, once you do that, we want to head over to your preview scene like so. And then you want to add a, a image which that will be like your preview image or your preview, preview intro video. It doesn't matter. You can have a preview image that tells you when you'll be live video or image. Just repeat the steps I just showed you for a video. But I'm going to do image. Click OK. Then browse. And then find the image you want to use. Or video. Like so. Click click OK. Once you, click open once you find the video you want to use. And click OK. And then you might have to resize it. Like so. You see right there, it says, we will be live in five minutes. Like so. Now what you want to do. Now what you want to do right here. Is head over to Facebook. Like so. You want to head over to Facebook. Like so, right here. And then what you want to do is click your account. And click right here where it says live video. Like so. Just wait for it to come up. Now, what you want to do is click st use stream key right there. And then, you. I'm going to put this as private right now by clicking right here. It says friends, friends accept, but I'm just going to click just me for now, because I don't want this to go live again. Because I already pre-pre-pre-did pre this already. Now what you want to do is right here, you will see stream key. For OBS, Facebook live stream, you only need this stream key right there. Copy, I'm going to click copy right there. Then head over to the file settings, and you're not worrying about your output or output 
or video settings. Don't worry about any of these. Just worry about stream. You right here it, it will be custom or whatever you want to stream to. I'm gonna put Facebook Live and then right here you wanna delete the stream key you have already and paste the new one you have. Right there. And then click apply. Then OK. And then what you can do is start your stream right here. But before you do that, you want to head over to Facebook. Like so. And then what you want to do is you can title it down here. You can add a title or whatever you want or your category. You can add a category. It doesn't really matter. You can schedule it or upcoming live, whatever you want to do right here to schedule a live video, like so. Now what you want to do is head over to OBS, like so. And then what you want to do is make sure you have your, your intro or pre-recorded video or photo that tells you when you will be live to start, like so. I'm going to click start right here, like so. And then what you want to do is head over to Facebook right here because it says right here live. Live and the green thing came up. You want to check Facebook back right there and then it says preview, previewing right there. But your Facebook video ain't live yet. So what you want to do is click right here. Right here. Sorry that this is in Spanish but it's right here. It will say live video right here. Right there, then you want to scroll up because sometimes they will be there. Or what you can do is hit right here. Video is live right here. See, look, I'm going to change it and then it'll say now. Do you want to see the live video? Click right here. You see, right there, we will be live in five minutes, like so. Now, what you want to do. What you want to do is head over to your to your OBS if you want to stream your video and click click pre-recorded but before you do that what you want to do is right here in your settings what you want to click click is 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 when you do here go to pre-recorded right there and what you want to do right here is you see desktop audio and mic and and mic Ox, you want to exit that, you see mic and audio, you want to do this right here, you want to click the microphone button to where it, it's read out, and you, it's read out, like so, and, uh, and no sound will be coming from desktop or microphone, only the media source audio will be coming in, and now we can head over to Facebook, it works like so. Because you see right there, the pre-recorded video is right there. Or what you can do, or what you can do is you don't have your pre-recorded video. Your pre-recorded video without the preview, you can just click click the scene button. It has the scene plane, and then like so, the scene plane, which it will come up. In a couple of minutes, it will come up like that. Just have a blank scene with nothing in it, and then when you want to go to your preview recorded video, just click pre-recorded video, and then it'll pop up like that. If you just want to do it to go live instantly, like so, or you can just click your preview recorded, your preview recorded, recorded intro, or anything like so. Now to stop stream, you want to click stop streaming on Facebook and and in OBS like so stop streaming once you click stop streaming right here on it will go black like so like so or on Facebook depending on what you stop your stream it will stop on Facebook on Facebook you click stop right here on your live video it will stop it right there but if you click the stop button on OBS right here, stop streaming right here, it will stop the video on your Facebook live automatically for you without clicking the live video. Either way, you can click the live video 
I mean the finished live video on Facebook or OBS but one thing you want to keep certain is that when you click live I mean click finalize live video to end it on Facebook you, once you click finalize live video to end it you want to hit on OBS you want to hit stop streaming because that will stop the stream on OBS only but if you stop the stream on, on OBS it will stop it on Facebook like so that's the way to stream Facebook pre-recorded videos to Facebook please like and subscribe for more how-to videos like these ones to on how to stream to Facebook with pre-recorded video